Hi, this is Jen Yates with GenerationStudios.com Drum Lessons Online. I'm here with my student, Gloria, from Oklahoma. Gloria, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm real good. I love your shirt. A lot of my family is based there, so they will enjoy that. <laughs> good. Um, so we were just talking in our lessons. You were talking about watching a video of uh, me just sitting in a room playing. Yeah. Go ahead yeah. and explain that to our uh, listeners out there. Well, it was just so cool. I'd been practicing and and I'm okay. finishing up my evening and there. Yeah. And there's my I've been working on my rudiments, which is why I sought lessons to begin with, because I'm that. self taught but I needed to learn rudiments. And there was that pandemic. Yeah. And I thought, good time. Mm -hmm. and, Perfect time. And then I was working. <laughs> then I was working on a song that you've been working on with me that I wanted to learn and you're teaching me how to play. And so uh, I Brand, go uh, and let's give it a give her a plug because I love me some Brandy Carlisle. It's Brandy Carlisle's yeah. Dreams is what we've been working on and learning song arrangement. It is because I absolutely love how rhythmic that song is and how there are so many different drum parts to it. And yeah. I can play most of them, not all at yeah. the same time, but I can play them now. And and so I go in the living room and I sit down and you have sent me a video of you playing drum. Which and I it do. was <laughs> just so magical. It was it was just you were playing, I don't it was so rhythmic and musical <laughs> and just pretty. It was well, thank you. amazing. Yeah. Well, I and I was that. going that's I don't even I know what I was doing. I think I was just yeah. In that video, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I did that with Carrie Thompson, another really awesome female drummer over the border there in Indiana. Um, we were just, she's got this amazing drum set, uh, Yamaha Stage Custom, which I love Yamaha Stage Custom. I usually play vintage Ludwig, but if I had to go with a modern day kid, it would be the Yamaha Stage Custom. Uh, they just sound yeah. so amazing. But she's got this beautiful kit, and I just sat down to show her some rudiment things, you know, and... Uh, just improv and she videoed and so that's what you saw but I really appreciate you saying that um I do believe that my theater background has helped a lot with that and my uh concert band background even though growing up I played clarinet bass clarinet in concert band and not drums uh until much later but I always played drum set and we were talking about the importance of having little percussion items like the mark tree because it adds a beautiful element to your playing. I love to play with a mark tree beside me. And again, that comes from that theater background of using different things. But, you know, when I was growing up playing, um, it's actually in this room right here that you see behind me, the dramatorium, you know, this is my grandparents' room, now my father's room. And, you know, we would just have the drum set set up like it is sometimes two drum sets set up back to back. And we would just sit in a room and play drums back and forth, like the Buddy Rich and Gene Krupa, oh. like drum battle kind of things. Or, mm -hmm. hey, I can do this, boom, go, you know, and then it's back to you or we play together, vice versa. Or somebody would play percussion, uh, you know, go-go bells or timbales or, you know, jimbe or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I think it's a it's it's a lot different when you're just sitting behind your kid and trying to play and be musical yeah. without anybody else, you know, and that's kind of the background that I came from just sitting in a room by myself. A lot of times when I was sad or upset, I would go lock myself in a room and I would video it. I always would video myself just so I could watch it back from a different perspective and go, Ooh, that's not a cool or all oh, that. Cause sometimes when you're in the moment and you're just trying to play, your brain is trying to think of, Oh, what groove can I go to here? What feel can I do here? Right. Um, yeah. And you don't pay attention to like things like technique or, uh, control or posture behind the kit, stuff like that. So, you know, when you go back and watch it, that gives you a different perspective. And in, in college marching band, they would teach the snare drummers to play looking in a full length mirror for that reason. Because when you're looking at a full length mirror and playing, you're watching your stick heights and you're watching your technique and you're watching, you know, all the moves that you're making and your body movements and stuff like that. You don't get that if you're just playing, not looking in a mirror. Yeah. Right. So a different perspective always helped me to grow as a musician. So I highly encourage you, you know, always to 
video yourself, record yourself, listen to yourself, watch yourself play, you will gain a different perspective. Um, as far as those sitting behind the kid, it's one of the my most favorite things, you know, is just sitting in a room and trying to say, uh, you know, what kind of sounds can I get out of this kit? You know, yeah. it doesn't even matter what I hit. I might even hit the metal or the rims or, uh, mm -hmm. you know, or something else or scrape a symbol or go around the edges of a symbol or, you know, put metal on symbols and stuff like that, um, you know, just to get different sounds. That also comes from a background of taking amazing drum clinics from very great drummers. Mm -hmm. One of my faves, Johnny Rabb, I got to study under him at a drum clinic and He's the drummer of Collective Soul, but he's also done a lot of other stuff. He's also written amazing books, but talk about a phenomenon to sit beside him and watch him play and just be like, what is he doing, you know? And and then he'll break it down and teach mm -hmm. you stuff and, and you know, sit and, and work in uh, at Mom's Music as long as I did. It was a drum shop. People would come in and give clinics. They would do stuff like that. And then next thing you know, you know, I'm getting to attend them and I'm just taking pieces of every drummer that I've studied under and uh, just sitting behind a kit. And, you know, usually when they do those clinics, they don't have any musicians come in with them or anything like that. They're they're just sitting behind a drum set showing you what they're doing. And it's amazing. So I try uh, my best to, to make it sound as good as possible. And uh, I need to practice more. You know, I always I always love uh, being behind my kid it's my safe space, you know? Nice. Yeah. So thank you for that. Well, and I remember just before your surgery, you, you did a video and you said you give people skills and it makes them happy. And that's true. I, I even, I wrote that down. I was I saying, that. I listened to it a bunch of times after I heard it and I wrote it down because it's true. The, it is the true. Things, the things I learned from you make me happy. I love that. Yay. I've done my job here is done then. Right. Yeah. Uh, I love that. That makes me happy to know that. Um, yeah. I was talking about the kids and the uh, students that I've taught, you know, I've been teaching for 15 years now. Uh, and there was a time period where I did it full time through the week, 40 students a week, every day, you know, and on weekends and just uh, crammed as much knowledge of drums as I could into all these students. And yeah. what's cool now is I, I can sit back. I just handed them the tools of knowing what they're doing, teaching them quarter notes, eighth notes, paradiddles, rudiments, mm -hmm. you know, and all this stuff. And then now, 15 years later, it's really paying off. I'm getting all my, you know, students are playing out and I get to just lay back and go watch them and just be super proud. And they're always so excited that I show up, you know, and, and watch yeah. them play. And they follow me online and I follow them online. They get all excited when I thumbs up their videos and stuff, you know, or share their videos. But I, I really love being a teacher for that reason. I will always be a student at the drums first, always, mm -hmm. and a teacher second. Um, but I love giving, giving the knowledge and the tools as a teacher to someone like you taking lessons and then, you know, five years from now, you're going to call me and say, hey, I'm playing in church and I'm doing this big drum solo and here's the video and, da, 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 you know, and yeah. then I get to just sit back and be like, well done, well done. You know, my job here is done. Yeah, that's what I was birthed to do on this. I truly feel that from spirit as a gift from spirit because I dropped out of teaching music, you know, mm -hmm. uh, in college. I didn't want to be a music teacher and then life made me a music teacher and I do feel like it is my God-given gift to give back to the world is education through music and, and healing through music. It really is all healing as well. It's all therapy. It's yes. expressive art therapy is what it is. You know, it's, it's music therapy. Yeah. 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 Music heals. So, and it is the universal language. You know, I've taught kids who couldn't even speak, who were mute mm -hmm. and we could communicate through rhythms. And it's amazing to watch. And so fun. thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right. On that, we're going to wrap it up. I'm sure we've been talking forever about that. But uh, thank you, Gloria, for, uh, you know, for being a student and saying everything you've said. I am blessed and grateful to be your teacher. Thank you very much. Best time mm -hmm. of my life. Truly. Uh -huh. Awesome. All right. Talk All right. To you next week. All right.